Boston-based artist Bren Bataclan has given away paintings all over the world, each one with a note saying, this painting is yours if you promise to smile at random people more often. Bren does programs with schools where he stays for a week to talk about his street art project, giving drawing lessons, encouraging students to smile at one another, and he paints murals on the walls. Bren recently visited Bryantville Elementary in Pembroke, and PCN was there to learn more. Today we are here at the Bryant Elementary School's library and in about an hour there's going to be an unveiling with the sixth graders who created all the characters over here. I used to teach at UMass Amherst and about 15 years ago I started the street art project where I left paintings for folks to take for free. So I uh, tape notes and even now um, underneath the canvas saying, this painting's yours if you promise to smile at random people more often. So the origin is that um, I grew up in San Francisco and I saw lots of street art, but I wasn't the type of kid who would vandalize a wall. So I thought this is a good way to do my own street art, but not a form of vandalism. Um, so most of the time I leave them on park benches and uh, train stations, hospitals, senior centers, and I just find a place where uh, there's lots of foot traffic, but the challenge is I don't want to be the person known as leaving the paintings. Since giving away my very first painting in 2003, I've now given away, I think now close to 3,000 paintings and in 70 different countries and in all 50 states. Bren Bataclan has been at our school three different times. He definitely has our core values about kindness, politeness, respect for each other, working together, he sends that message, we love to have that. He also sends the message that everybody can draw. I love the fact that he says, no erasers, mistakes are good. For the assemblies, I gave an overall, um, sort of like summary of what I do. Then I showed them the process of my paintings on canvases and also on walls. Then um, it's a whole entire group, including the adults, we all drew. So I showed them how to draw my characters, and they're really easy to mimic, so most kids feel empowered to create their own. And then, after that, um, as I mentioned, the sixth graders and I, we um, had a more extensive drawing workshop, so we did some more uh, drawing exercises, and then they were paired, uh, they, they were um, grouped in teams of either pairs or three. So they were randomly given um, a sliver of paper that has something library related, like a book, a computer, iPads, and as a team they worked um, to create one happy character. Then I took all their drawings, started Monday afternoon, and I drew them on the walls. The whole process starts out with a pencil, uh, just pencil drawings. Then I uh, painted all the black outlines, so um, Monday afternoon, Tuesday morning, this looked like a giant coloring book. And after that, I painted all the colors. And then to today, I repainted all the black outlines. So I'm basically done. I love working with the students here. Um, they're really, really talented. And some of the drawings are actually from the adults. So the, um, the principal, the um, art teacher, and, and even the um, librarian con contributed a piece. And so everyone's work's been immortalized and it's part of the school's history.